And when my soul became quiet, I began a fast for 200 and something days. And I was asking God, God, where are you? I'm not going back home if you don't show up. So, on the 264th day, I, I was not instructed, I was not informed that if Jesus wants to appear somewhere, he will send his angels first. So I had encounters with two majestic angels. Then I stopped my fasting. I did not know that that was just preparatory to what I was asking for. I was satisfied with the angelic dimension. In fact, when I had this encounter with these angels, my ministry shifted. So I felt that was what it was. It took an additional seven years before Jesus eventually came. Because I was not told that the presence of angels is different from the presence of Jesus. The glory that the angels brought, I thought, oh my Jesus, may your hunger be deep. It took seven years after that time for Jesus to show. He came to me for nine seconds. And he said that I should preach to the youth of Nigeria. And from the time he gave me that instruction, I, I went from campus to campus for 12 years. 12 years. After 12 years, it was on the, on the 19th of August 2019 that he came back. So I've encountered close range encounters with Jesus. I've had five of, the, of, of, of those. So I know what it means to encounter the glory of God as an individual. The presence of God that came into my room in Dubai was there for three days. That's the individual level. something happens when two people that have that spirit when they agree and what we mean by agreement is that you people have kept aside your agenda your prayer point the things you want to achieve and now you just want to be vessels that can carry his own prayer point that can carry his own agenda that can carry his own will that can carry his preferences then he begins to unlock what, what troubles him begins to unlock it the, you see for each layer he unlocks it is like a weight it's just like you are to carry 12 bags of cement and they drop the first one that's when you will check the alignment of your spinal cord <laughs> for every every weight that he discloses to you there is a presence that accompanies it because you are in custody of that body that is in his heart and you are willing to let go the preferences you have for your own life to begin to pursue that thing that presence remains and then you you are faithful he increases your capacity i mean congregation this is not individual anymore you guys are faithful in prosecuting that he will increase your capacity in terms of spiritual strength and then he will release another that's how he keeps and the more he can is at home to release those things the more his presence will begin to appear presence will begin to the first thing his presence will deal with is what you are looking for now you want money you want prosperity hmm? you'll be taken out of poverty just because you are playing host Anywhere the spirit of God is trapped, the first one, some of the, one of the evidences is that there's prosperity. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. 
but whose delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law that he meditate day and night he shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season his leaves also shall not wither and whatsoever he do it shall prosper if that scripture means anything it means that one of the evidences of our alignment is prosperity so let me tell you our story as RCM you see this man Chief Donatus the men like them don't exist again this time this time We were young men and I was posted into the city where they were and we began a prayer and we said the reason why we are coming for this prayer is not because we have needs yeah we have needs but we don't want to pursue our needs do you have needs oh God um, we want to share in alleviating your pain that was the prayer we prayed like that with fasting for how many years he didn't respond because he will test you he will he, he, he will he will find out if what you are saying you are parroting it or you mean it so one of the ways he proves it is that he allows time to pass and then the devil will be released to come and whisper to all of you that you are all wasting your life not your time oh, your life Every other day we were in the place of prayer. That's when before you get discouraged, he will give you a dream and show you a light that is shining on Africa. A light. So you want to invade Africa? we'll begin to pray Lord shine the light and all the scriptures that have to do with light we'll package it and begin to use it as use it and begin to for 14 years 14 years yes 14 years the last person that opened the spiritual atmosphere of my city are you still are you still following me i went it's late now i went to his son i asked him how long did it take and what was the spiritual exercise that your dad was involved in he said okay he prays like this prays this time he does and it took seven years huh. i doubled it i said if this is huh, i doubled it so that was a roadmap i was expecting that in seven years but i was wrong because God cannot be calculated by a formula. God must be sought out. So if you don't have the heart of pilgrimage to wander into his island until he decides to show up as desperate as you are for him, you cannot see him, you cannot know him until he's willing to reveal himself. I realized that he, just in case you know him, it's, because not, it's not because you searched for him. It's because he decided to show up. That was when I saw the kingdom that was regulated by a king. You can pray and cry. Your tears don't move him. In fact, until they dry up, he will not come. He will come when he wants to come. That was when I discovered how to wait upon the Lord. <laughs> Waiting upon the Lord is an act of faith because his government inf influences the timing of his response his government influences the style of his response maybe you are expecting god to show up in a certain way you are wrong you don't do that when you are dealing with the king oh he will he will touch your pride and puncture it like a balloon mm. yes if you are not willing to to allow the flesh to wither to be paralyzed 
you will not survive it. He will show up and what he wants to do now will bring shame on all of you. Shame is part of it. He will bring shame on everybody. You know why? He wants to weaken your flesh. If you are still afraid of shame, then you, you don't have depth enough to trap the things that are of him. Lack! You'll be tested with lack. All kinds. Brutal lack. Naked lack. You know that kind of lack that is not covered? He's not wearing clothes. He's naked. Mugabaye tokoske mina. Esimantoria. Esima kabela ikombela. Are you there? We went through that. You know, when everybody is discouraged, we don't say it, but so that you will not be the one to discourage everybody. But that discouragement was in everybody's heart, but we couldn't. We were tested. We were tried. Then, after 14 years, he began to release dimensions. Oh, there are times in our midst when we hold meetings like this, the hand of God will come down. And for three hours, people are prophesying. In fact, we wanted to end the service, so we gathered all the people prophesying, brought them to my office. I was there for another two hours. He was speaking. He was speaking. And we used to have a scribe those days that used to record. The things that we gathered that those people spoke were impossible. We didn't have the faith to believe it. Meanwhile, we were the ones praying, but there was no faith. When he started speaking, it Because the city that we are in, in Nigeria, is not a notable city. It's a poor city. So it is difficult for you to see that God could use people from that part of the world to influence his body. Are you there? We saw the impossible. We saw the unthinkable. Then our understanding became enlightened. That that is the prototype of what he wants the entire church on the face of the earth to be. A people that are lost in search of what is on his heart. They operate under his authority. Because the Bible says two or three must be gathered in my name. Under the authority that my name carries. That's how they operate. It's not an agenda that is a from what I'm doing but an agenda that is designed to capture and implement what I am doing are you here tonight his glory began to increase as his glory began to increase I began to see that he started anointing people in the congregation you could tell that this one is a prophet. You could tell it. It is real. You could tell that this is an evangelist. People started becoming. I feel it. The witches in the place gave they gave us room. They say, this, they are mad. They are mad people. Witches were no longer the problem. Because his hand came down. And we have tasted of a measure of his glory. But what we have tasted is, is nothing compared to what he showed me. So we are laboring to climb. I'm looking for that day because I've seen in my dreams where we trapped the dimensions of God and it became physical, became visible. I've seen it. Where you touch the glory of God and people will begin to see gold in their hands. All right, thank you. And I hope that uh, this clip really blesses and transforms your life. If you do, don't forget to hit that subscription button and turn on the notification so that you will not miss any of our daily upload. Once again, don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe. Until then, may God Almighty bless and keep you.